before you go any further don't forget to subscribe get subscribed for more interesting tutorials hello students so we'll come back again to another interesting tutorial so let's start so we are going to start by typing in units as usual so you type in units and you make sure that they are in zero precision and they are in millimeters then you can press ok after setting units the next thing we are going to set limits so you type in limits so it will ask the lower limit is zero comma zero then the upper limit you specify 200 comma 200 then you can type enter so from there you go to answer view then you choose southwest isometric as you see there then you can type in UCS icon command then you choose no origin so now we are going to draw a box you come here you choose a box then you come you specify the first point where the box should start from then you draw it here then this distance here you type in 95 comma then the other distance is 68 yes overall distance then the height is 71 so you type in 71 enter so you can zoom in this is your now after drawing this box we are going to go to copy edge command you come you choose this edge so make sure offer mode is on so i'm going to take it up for a distance of 16 so that's your edge up that's a distance of 16 then you can copy you copy still this edge you come you select this edge and you take it this side for a distance of 22 so you type in 22 enter yes then copy you come to this edge again select this edge then you take it this side for a distance of 22 so you type in 22 enter exit so you come here you exit then the next thing we are going to go for is press pull command so you come you press pull this part out and you also choose this part which is in blue you also press pull it out so when you come here to 2D wire flame, so you come, you select here 2D wire flame, and you go to realistic, this is what you'll be having. So you can come and switch off the grids. So from there, you are going to come to copy edge still. So you come, you choose copy edge. So you are going to copy this edge, which is in blue. We are going to copy it up for a distance of 19. So direct it up for a distance of 19. So now you can come to line command and you extend this line. You come, you extend it up to this point where it ends, then you can enter. Now the next thing, we are going to go to copy edge. So you come, you select this edge. So you see that there is a distance of 38. So you direct it up for a distance of 38. Enter. So you can exit this. Exit. So from there, we are going to come here and choose face. So you come, you choose this face here then enter so after choosing that face we have to draw a circle so you come here you come and choose circle radius so you're going to draw a circle of radius 16 so you type in 16 enter that is your circle there then you are going to go back here to circle and you choose circle diameter so you are going to draw a circle of diameter 12 so it's here it is of a circle diameter 12 and it is 16 deep so after drawing that then you can come here and go to 2d wire flame so you can search that you can delete these lines you come you delete that you delete this one this one you can remove it, leave it and you delete this yes so you delete all those lines so from there the next thing we go for we go for press pull command you come you select press pull then you come to this part and you press pull it in for a distance of 16. remember the dimensions are 38 minus 12 22 which remains 16. so you can come here to copy edge command and you copy this edge for a distance of 22. so you take it that side for a distance of 22 then you exit so now from there the next to do is that we delete these lines so you come you select this line and this one and you delete it then you come here and you choose realistic view so in realistic this is what you'll be having so there's press pull you go to press pull command and you press pull this part in for a distance of 16 remember it is a whole 16 deep 
so you can press pull it in so you can come and you press pull this part down let's pull it down for a distance of 59 so remember it was 71 minus 12 of which is 50 59 so you can rotate then you can come back to southeast so this is what you'll be having you can pan and you press it there so from there you are going to go to fillet command you come you select fillet then you select this edge and you put the fillet radius as 22 enter so that's what you'll be having so you can rotate you can see the beauty of your work now we are going to go to copy edge you come you select this edge and you copy it down for a distance of six as you see then you can come here draw a line from this point up to this point down where you see a square then enter so the next thing as usual is press pull so you press pull this part out so that's what you'll be having so now what we are going to do we go to move command you move this and you place it here make sure off is off then you delete all these circles and lines so you delete that line you delete that you delete all of them to make sure that the work is clean so you can delete all of them at once so now what you can pan and you place your work there so that's your work you can pan and press it there as you see it you can zoom in and zoom out so after having that you can double click on the work then you choose the color so for this case let's choose green and then enter so this is our final work you can zoom it in yes if necessary after having this as your final work you come here to fill it then you choose fill it you choose this edge you can fill it this for a distance of two enter then you come again to fill it you come to this point and you fill it through two then fill it still so you can first rotate so after rotating you're also going to, to fill it these other edges so you come to fill it then you choose this edge fill it enter two so you fill it that two enter then you come to fill it again still and you fill it this part two enter that's the fillet radius Doing the filleting, you can rotate your work, rotate it back up to there. So you see the beauty. So you come back here and you choose southwest. So after zooming in and you pan, that is your final work. So guys, thank you for being. Yes, 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 yes.